Yo, quickly before we do start the video, guys, I'm giving away these Halloween goodie boxes now. These are very, very limited. If you do want to enter, like, subscribe, and comment your in-game name down below. Good luck. It's spooky season. With Halloween being around the corner, I thought it's the perfect time to showcase a Halloween event on a server that I haven't played in a few years. The last update I did on here must have been three years ago. It does not feel like that, I'll be honest. I see Mr. Rectu RSPS was streaming the Halloween event the other day and I was looking at it and I thought, that looks pretty cool. So here I am, I've come online and I'm gonna check it out for myself. I've done a little bit of research to how the event works. Um, on the update thread, it does give you a little bit of a guide. To start the Halloween event, visit Verona at home. She's hard to miss. Just a little bit south, you'll see her. And uh, if we talk to her, she'll say, Stranger, please help me. An evil witch is terrorizing Stargaze with her evil magic. She has possessed all of my undead friends, and she's threatening to ruin Halloween season forever. Can you help me bring some peace back to Stargaze this Halloween, Stranger? Of course I can. She says you can help me by freeing my brothers from the witch's spell that has casted upon them. Their spirit will reward you with a magical net. I will free your brothers, mate, don't worry. The net can be used to contain magical gem bats, but be aware the stronger the bat is, the harder it is to catch it. After you've caught them, they should turn into magical gem powder. This gem powder could help me banish the witch back to her realm. For helping me, I will reward you with a mythical Halloween key for every 1,000 powders you bring me. Sweet, of course I'd love to go to the graveyard. So yeah, after all that talking, you'd be teleported here and you get to see all the brothers that have unfortunately lost their lives. So yeah, once you're here, you want to right click show drops and you'll see a Halloween bronze net there. One in 155 drop rates, so not too rare. These I do believe get one hit as well, so yeah, it shouldn't take too long to get the Halloween net, baby. I'm going to go get a faster killing weapon. There you go, that's a lot faster. Look at that. So yeah, we just kill these and keep an eye out on the floor, and hopefully we get that net soon. Oh, there she is. That was quick. Oh, maybe not. I guess I killed 150 in that time. That did not feel like that. So yeah, happy days. We have the bronze net. Now with this, we're going to run over here. Run just a little bit north, and you should find these Tanzanite bats. I'll actually drop this magical dust so we can get a clear view on how many we are getting. So yeah, here on out, you just want to keep catching these bats. Uh, upon success, you will be getting some of this magical gem dust. You want to keep this in your inventory because these are very important. As Valerina said, 1,000 of this magical dust can be converted into one Halloween key. And it really does not take long to get 1,000 of this dust, if I'm being honest. But that's not even the main thing we're after. We're after a Halloween net upgrade. So if we keep catching these, eventually we should get our hands on an adamant net. Nice, let's go! Fucking hell, that took about 30 minutes to get. The Halloween Adamant Net. Happy days. I seen Rex you do it, and it literally took him two minutes. I guess it's all RNG. Once you've got the Adamant Net, you want to run south, and you should find some ruby Halloween bats. You won't be able to catch these until you do have the Adamant one, and uh, same goes here. You want to keep catching these until you get the Dragon upgrade. But luckily, you will be getting a lot more magical gem dust from these compared to the uh, Tanzanite ones. Again, it's been about 20 minutes. Still no dragon net. It took Dexy 5 bats. Are you choking? Maybe 100 bats, says Solar Army. It took Fearless 700 bats to catch. That's mental. I'm dedicated, though. I'm sticking here until I get it. I don't give a shit. Oh shit, I got it. Nice, I got the fucking dragon one. Let's go. Alright, so when you've got the dragon one, you can now catch the emerald Halloween bats. Now, these are actually the best per hour for the magical gem dust here. See, so, yeah, if you just want to stack these up and get a fuck ton of keys, that is what you want to do. Return back here, turn in dust, and we got 36 Halloween keys. Here we are at the Halloween chest. Now, to get here, it will be colon colon chests in game. Let's see if we can pull anything juicy from them. And there it is, far superior hearts, 80 eternal crystals, 300 grand in donator scrolls. 
25 shiny diamonds, a ton of coins. Some millionaire boxes, I guess we just get even more cash for this. Yeah, looks like it. That is the lootation for the keys, a lot of freaking cash. Let's claim all of them. Boom, 505 million, 801 thousand. It's so funny seeing that shit. This is kind of cool as well. So every 300 Halloween bats caught as a server, this pumpkin basket will spawn at random. All you have to do is just click it once. He will stay there for 10 minutes. And in that 10 minutes, you'll be gathering pumpkins. You can then exchange these pumpkins for Halloween keys. That is the event done. And 453 pumpkins to show for it. Not too bad. Four Halloween keys for free. The Halloween Witch is also another global boss here on Stargaze. This one can be spawned through the community working together to open Halloween keys. Every 300 opened as a community, the Witch will spawn. Hey, the global boss Spookinator has just spawned. Let's see what loot we can get from him. I believe this guy spawns like once or twice every single day and you can even get his pet. I got myself some superior AoE feathers and five Halloween keys. With the new update came a ton of new sexy armor and weapons. As you can see, I'm rocking the full spooky set here. In my opinion, it looks absolutely beautiful. They also brought out the conjuring set, which I'll put on right now for you. I'm not too sure which one I prefer, you know. So you can get the conjuring set from the Halloween chest from these Halloween keys. And then you get the spooky set from the Halloween goodie boxes, which can be bought off the store. I have 11 of the Halloween goodie boxes to open. Let's see if we can pull... Many spooky pieces, 50 keys from the first one, that's not bad. $25 web store token. 50 autumn boxes. No spooky pieces yet, until now. Spooky gloves. Spooky bag. Spooky plate body. A lot of coins. I don't know, oh, more coins I guess. Uh, let's open another one. Number three. 10 majestic M boxes, they must be good, they sound it. Juggernaut boxes, and the final one we get... Spooky helmet. Four spooky pieces there, and a ton of them boxes. 250 Halloween keys I'm now opening, let's see if we can pull any conjuring piece. Oh shit, there's the first one, conjuring cape. After just under 50 keys opened. I just remembered that I'm actually counting towards the Halloween witch spawn, so I might stick at 100. I don't want to get in trouble by the owner. Two Inferno keys, they seem to be rare. And that is loot from 100 of the keys. I'm going to stop right there. It does say, once you hit 400 keys open, you're guaranteed to get a rare reward. So that's pretty nice. There seems to be one extra way of farming keys too. It says, new Halloween spirits are a different way to farm Halloween keys via colon colon H spirits. This zone is unlocked after killing 60 witches. I would showcase it myself, but I don't have 60 witches go count. But yeah, boys, that is where I'm going to wrap up today's video. Just a little showcase of the new Halloween event here on Stargaze. If you did enjoy the video, please do let me know with a comment and also leave a like rating on the vid. If you do want to check out Stargaze for yourself, you can do colon colon referral in game just like that. And then find Diddyscape, which I'm sure will be on it whenever I message Diana. In the meantime, you can just choose other and then type in Diddyscape just like that and you'll get the same reward. The play count's currently at 193, so it's doing really, really well. It's cool to see Stargate still going strong. And yeah, until next time, boys, have a good one, and I will yeah. see you soon. They love to see you at your worst. Stick the knife in where it hurts. Fuck them all, I know my worth. I'm cashing in for that purse. I spent years in that dirt. Now I'm taking chances, I'm building my own church. They can't take away what you've been going through for years. But I'm back in this bitch, overcoming these fears.